In this video, we'll be looking at the red herring fallacy and then see an example by Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott. A red herring is when an irrelevant topic is presented in order to divert attention away from the original arguments. This is often used to avoid dealing with an argument directly by shifting the focus of the argument away from the original position. An example of this being, have you finished your assignment? I was working on my assignment and then the game came on TV, did you watch it? As can be seen here, rather than addressing whether the assignment was finished or not, the perpetrator uses a distraction and creates a new topic of discussion, irrelevant to the original question. Let's see the Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott put this fallacy into practice in an interview on the Australian Broadcasting Network. Let's quickly run through some other issues, Prime Minister, starting with the economy. When Labor left office, unemployment was 5.8%, it's now 6.3%. Growth was 2.5%, it's now 2%. The Australian dollar was 92 cents, it's now around 70 cents. The budget deficit was $30 billion when you took office and now it's $48 billion. How do you explain to the Australian people that you were elected promising, in your words, to fix the budget emergency, mm -hmm. yet in fact Australia's economic position has worsened under your leadership? Well, I don't accept that. Uh, the boats have stopped. We're talking the about the economy. Taxes, the, the boats have stopped. The carbon tax is gone. The mining tax is gone. Uh, we are now on a path to sustainable surplus. In the video, Lee confronts the Prime Minister with a series of statistics on unemployment, growth, the dollar and the budget deficit, showing an economic decline during his time as Prime Minister. She then asks him to explain how this occurred given he was elected with the promise of increasing economic strength. The Prime Minister perpetrates a clear red herring fallacy in his response to the question by shifting focus from the aforementioned statistics to issues not previously mentioned or relevant to the question. He begins by stating that immigration of asylum seekers arriving by boat has decreased, which clearly has no relevance. He then goes on to mention tax cuts made on carbon emissions and the mining industry. Though tax cuts may have an effect on the economy and therefore appear relevant to the question, the Prime Minister does not relate these issues to the question asked and instead uses them to direct focus away from any literal response to Lee's inquiry. The question continues beyond the end of the example video. However, at no point does the Prime Minister answer the original question. After attempting to persist with the question, Lee is eventually forced to move on to another line of questioning, though she does not acknowledge the Prime Minister's response to be adequate. This demonstrates how the red herring fallacy can easily be used to avoid directly answering a question. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for weekly videos and be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.